Hi from Prague, everybody. Um, I decided to do a travel blog because I've had so many people, or a travel vlog, a video log, because I've had so many people, uh, friends and family, who know I travel a lot, I get a lot of questions about what kind of suitcases are the best, um, what are the things that you need to know when you go to this city or that city. So I decided to go ahead and try this. Um, I'll do a couple of these for fun. Um, but I wanted to give you the five things and show you the five things that I don't leave home without when I travel. So here you go. First, suitcase. I get questions a lot about what's the best kind of suitcase to get. Now I will tell you, because I travel almost 200,000 miles a year, I spend a lot of money on a suitcase. If you don't travel that much, don't spend that much, but look for these types of features. First of all, this is my magic bag. This is my Tumi suitcase. And I think what the most important thing about a suitcase, it doesn't matter what the brand is. For me, I travel a lot, so it has to last. But really important, I can take this carry-on bag for two weeks and not have to worry about anything. And I've done it. I try desperately not to check luggage because no matter the best airline, no matter what your status, things happen. So the way to do that is, first of all, find a piece of luggage. You want the kind of wheels that move like this. Your back hurts if you have to just pull them straight. If they move around and you can push it, it's better for you. Number two, you want wheels on the outside of the bag. You see this, they're not taking room on the inside of the bag. That's a really important thing. This bag is a magic bag for a couple of reasons. One, it's split in half 50-50. So if you see this, it's well worn, it's equal 50-50. Over here, I usually put my hanging clothes, fold them up, zip it up, and it keeps them down tight. And as you can see, because the wheels are on the outside, it doesn't take room on the inside. Then, even if I pack it really tight, I can have a little expanded thing where the expando button will, sh will uh, or the expando zipper will zip it, the entire thing will zip, and it'll become room for carry-on. Tumi magic bag. But again, you don't have to get a Tumi, just get a bag that has those kind of features and you'll be set. Number two, that I never leave home without. This is my bandolier. Normally my phone's in it, but right now it's recording me. This goes around my neck, and my phone and my wallet are right here. This thing saved me. I got attempted mugged in Greece, and it's so strong that he was pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, and couldn't get it. And gave me time to elbow him in the face. So the bandolier, check it out. You can find it online. Different sizes, different shapes, but your phone stays right with you. Number three, downy wrinkle remover. A lot of places in Europe, especially some of the rooms, don't have irons. They don't want you to iron in the room, so this is really important. The one tip on the downy wrinkle remover, though, is the lids sometimes come off, so I actually tape it before I leave, and then if, it, if the tape gets bad, I ask the front desk for a piece of tape. I've had more than one time the lid come off and this end up all over my suitcase. Number four, a travel makeup mirror. Sometimes the rooms don't have magnifying mirrors. Now, for those of you who are young, it probably doesn't matter. For those of you like me who are older and need to put on my reading glasses to put on my makeup, this is kind of important. And finally, maybe the most important, I never, ever, ever leave home without these. These are my Bose Quiet Comfort headphones. And again, I travel a lot, so I spend a little bit on these types of things. These headphones are a lifesaver. Sometimes I put them on and just put the quiet canceling on and don't put anything on around it and it just gives me a little peace. I listen to these on the airplane. I listen to these all over the place. I take my telephone calls with these. Bose, these are fantastic. Okay, there you go. There's my travel tips for you for today from Prague and now I'm uh, off to do some work, get ready for my meetings tomorrow and maybe play a little bit too. I've heard there's some good beer here. Later.